Hey everyone and welcome back to my let's play of Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, last time where we left off, nothing really happened. Um, essentially, to make a long story short, I was asked to go visit Toa, the student council president. And I got some notebooks and now I'm part of the student council. Out of choice, quote, unquote, not really. Um, so now it looks like I'll be helping out every morning. Um, but yeah, that's it. Yesterday was just an hour. Well, technically today in game, I haven't gone to bed yet. I uh, was just in an hour of nothing, really just handing out the notebooks to everybody in their dorms. So let's start the next day, shall we? Oh, uh, also forgot to mention. I um, ended up opening all of the uh, DLC stuff uh, that was in the game. Hold on. Let me show it to you. Nope, that's not it. Items. There we go. All the DLC stuff here. Only because if I didn't open it, it would continue to bother me. So there's that. But yeah, let's just get started to the next day. Oh boy, a free day. Okay. Two required, one not required. I have a reason to believe that strange phenomena have been occurring in the old schoolhouse as of late. As such, I would like to request that one or more uh, combat ready students look into this and report back to me. Uh, for more details, come see me in my office on the first floor of the main building. I just finished repairing a bunch of orbital tech here in the engineering club, but I would like, but I need to deliver, but I need someone to deliver everything. Uh, stop by the engineering building. Blah, 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 and I'll tell you more. Kind of dropped my student notebook, and I now I don't know where to find it. Now, would anyone be willing to help? I'll be looking for it on the first floor of the student union building, and I'd really appreciate if someone lent, uh, lent me a hand. Colette. Okay. One from the principal, one from the engineering club, and... Oh, hey, one from another first year. I certainly wasn't expecting a request from the principal as one of my first assignments. Oh, but don't screw this up. I'm curious about the one from the engineering club too. Sounds interesting. Well, I've got all I've got all day. So let's just dive in, I guess. Alright, you can now uh request from your notebook, blah blah blah. Some advance will some will advance the main story. Uh they will have the request mark. Whoa, 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 what do you mean only two? Three? Oh, okay. Okay. I was about to say, I have like a whole class to hang out with. There's no way they'd only give me two. Especially considering I unlocked um, maximum bounding points. What a beautiful day. The shopping district. Oh, hey, that's me. The Lesage. All right, so we got a general store in N. Why would we pay to go to an inn if our home is literally next door? That's not right. Well, whatever. Let's see here. Is there any... Uh, no, that's the inn, but... Let's see if they have anything for me. No. 
damn, I can't even afford a pizza. This is wild. This is highway robbery. Alright, so first of all, let's just get this, um... Which one is it? The... Not main quest. There we go. Where is she? He? She? Colette? Sounds like a she. Uh, da -da -da. first floor of the city meeting building. Oh, or, or, I can hang out with these losers. You know what, let's hang out with Machias first. We do have all day after all. Uh, where did it say he was? Oh, I was just next to the cafe, oh my god. Oh, okay, he's drinking tea? I was surprised to find that in a, in spite of its quaint size, this town has all the shops one could possibly want. This cafe has a rather, rather pleasant uh, atmosphere too. It seems like the perfect environment for studying. Yeah, it really see, uh, certainly feels like a town built around the academy. I have a hand to see you though. You're really dedicated to your studies. Huh, just doing what's expected of a student. You should really try and make a habit out of it. Uh, of preparing for classes in advance and then reviewing new material afterward. That seems like a smart idea. Maybe this would be a good chance for me to get a gnome a little better. Mind if I joined you? Not at all. I was just thinking of taking a break myself. Go ahead and order something. Ren ordered a drink and proceeded to join Machias on his break. Big sip. You can tell this cafe uses high quality beans for its coffee. There's a rich flavor behind its initial bitterness, and the fragrance is utterly fantastic. I take it you're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to coffee then. <laughs> Mainly due to my dad. He's been drinking it as long as I can remember. Thanks to him, I started drinking it while I was studying, uh, which uh, gradually gave me a taste for it. Ah, that explains it. This certainly makes sense, Kier. Makes, this certainly makes him curious about the kind of person Governor uh, Regent Regnitz is. Speaking of which, is that tea I see you drinking? It is. I'm way more used to tea than I am coffee. The tea here is nice and relaxing, too. I'm not sure I'll ever understand the appeal. It doesn't help that I always associate, associate it with nobles. In fact, I saw one uh, particular, particularly... Uh, irritating noble arrogantly sipping away at a cup of, at a cup the other day. That couldn't mean anyone other than you, sis. And how do you sip arrogantly? Um, sorry, I didn't mean to rant. I didn't mean to sound like I was judging you or anything. I mean, you're not even a noble. <laughs> don't worry about it. Why don't you give it a try, though? You might actually end up liking it. I guess I could. You should try some of my coffee too then. They each poured some of their drink into the other's cup from their respective pots. Now, hold on. How does that work? You know what? I'm not gonna ask. Unless there's like a pot of coffee and a pot of tea while they have uh, the cup itself, which would be weird. Why do they need an entire pot of coffee and tea respectively? You were right. This isn't so bad. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I might actually consider having me some coffee next time. Uh, next time I'm really studying. Keeps you sharp between you between the years. Why don't the two of us uh, study here sometime then? Sounds like a plan. And thus the two finished their drinks and chatted together for a, a while longer. Me and Maki is reached. Oh, I don't need to do all that. Alright, so his uh, 
bond is now maxed out. Uh, alright, so she's at the gym. Technically, I could just go to the dormitory. No big deal. I'm guessing he's in his room. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, was it in here? I think it was this one, right? Yeah, there it is. Phew. You're looking pretty busy there, Elliot. Yeah, I just got some packages from home. Heavy ones at that. I just carried them here, uh, up here, and I'm already totally beat. <laughs> I can believe that. Seems like there's some food, uh, there's food in one of these, too. So I should probably look through them. Well, I am already here. Should I give him a hand? No. You look like you could use a hand. Mind if I help out? Really? You would? Well, I'd sure appreciate it. Reed and Elliot began sorting out the packages that Elliot uh, received from home. Phew. Well, we're done with about half of them now. I didn't expect there to be uh, so much of everything. There's quite a month's worth of food here. Not to mention a bunch of clothes and other daily necessities. I didn't expect this either. Now I feel bad for dragging you into it. My sister's way too protective of me sometimes. Oh, you've got a sister? Yeah, an older one. She's always been an, a bit on the clinging side, too. I mean, I'm grateful that she sent me a care package, but I wish she'd tone it down a bit. I'm not kidding anymore. <laughs> you mean that? I think it's kind of cute, actually. You can tell that she really cares about you. <laughs> really? Oh. Ellie took a worn uh, looking piece of sheet music out of the box. Is that sheet music? Looks like some uh, someone got a lot of use out of it. Yeah, I used to practice with, uh, with this all the time back home. Um, to tell you the truth, I actually wanted to become a enter a music academy before I ended up here. Oh, really? Then I guess joining the Wind Orchestra wasn't a casual thing for you, huh? Well, I've always loved music ever since I was younger. But in the end, I wasn't all that serious about it. So I ended up choosing Thor's instead of, uh, instead of a music academy. Weird. Really? Well, either way, it'd be nice to hear you play that piece sometime. <laughs> sure, one of these days. Reed and Elliot returned to the sorting of the packages, only getting through with the strength of their combined efforts. That's it? Substantially less. Ah, uh, da da. Alright, so it's time to hit the gym. Oh. Man, the weather's perfect today. The fish are really gonna be biting today. Looks like he's a student from one of the upper classes. Hey there, haven't met you yet. You've got one of those uh, red uniforms on, so I guess you're from class seven? That's me, my name's Reen Schwarzer. Are you a first year too? Yep, I'm Kenneth Lake Lord, class two. I'm part of the Imperial Fishing Club. It's really laid back. You'd like it. But yeah, pleasure's all mine. Likewise. He's pretty laid back himself. Especially for a noble. I take it the Imperial's fishing club's about fishing? You catch on quick. Triss is supposed to be a great uh, place for fishing. I hear there are a ton of different fish you can catch here. I'm just trying to figure out the right spot. <laughs> Seems like you're having a lot of fun, at least. You've done a bit of fishing in your time, haven't you? How about giving it another shot? Well, sure, but... How'd you know that? Just a hunch. Well then, from one fisherman to another. 
Are you sure you can have these? I feel kind of bad just getting all this stuff for nothing. Don't sweat it. The Imperial Fishing Club here to spread the joy of fishing, so it's all good. You'll be starting off as a white angler, but don't think too much about that. Just fish away to your heart's content. Uh, what? Just ignore that for now. It's not all that important. Oh yeah, once you've started landing some big hatches, come back and talk to me. I'll trade you some cool prizes for your points. Prizes? Points? What's going on? Now that's now that all that's explained, it's time for me to head off. I've got some fish to catch. I'll be fishing at the pond on campus if you want to join me. Well, I have a fishing rod. It didn't hurt to start uh to start fishing. Let's see. The label says it's made by the Lake Lord Company. Wait, isn't Lake Lord his last name? His family must be pretty famous then. Let him assume ex and I'd assume experts on fishing. Hmm. He was looking over there, right? Seems like it'd be a decent fishing spot. The pond he mentioned is available too, but maybe I'll give it a shot when I have the time. Alright. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Oh, okay, right here. Whoa, 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 buddy. Chill, bro. What was that? This is a big one. What in the hell was that? Bruh. Oh, you know what? Maybe because it is I'm on Nightmare Mode. That's, that is honestly the only explanation I have right now. Um, where was I going? Oh, right, the jet. Uh, excuse me. Um, do, do, do the gem, 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 gem. Oh, excuse me. Nope, not you. There she is. Good day, Reen. Have you come to uh, for a swim too? Uh, not quite. I'm surprised the swimming club's active at this time of the year, though. Well, it's true that winter swimming isn't for everyone. The water is rather chilly, but I think it makes for good training. Huh. How did I know you'd say something like that? Would it be fine if I just hung out and watched the club for a while? You'll get no objections. For, you'll get no objections from me. In fact, you came along at the perfect time. I was about to test my short distance swimming speeds. Do you think you could record my times? Sure, I can do that. Goal. 
That took you... 22.34 seconds. Oof. Just a so-so time, then. So-so? You tore across the pool. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were part fish. Hmm. Huh. Let's not go overboard. If I'm a fish, my, my father's a dolphin. In fact, he could probably uh, outswim one. Maybe, but he's the Radiant Blade Master. His swimming prowess doesn't make yours any less amazing. No kidding. I could hardly take my eyes off her while she was in the water. Is there a reason you're staring at me? Oh, no. Don't mind me. I take it swimming is a specialty of yours, then? Ah, uh, perhaps more habit than specialty. Lagram is located alongside a lake, and I used to swim there in the winter to train. It seems that uh, doing so has slightly improved my swimming in general. I don't know if the word slightly ap applies here. Given your upbringing, I initially assumed that you'd uh, join a more combat-oriented club. But it seems that even swimming can con uh, contribute to your training. That's the hope. My father once told me, there are things about the sword we can only learn by stepping outside of its shadow. And I have and I have every intention to put those words into practice upon entering this academy. Your dedication to the, sw to the sword doesn't surprise me. The way it influences you so much of your life seems very... you. To be honest, I'm a little jealous. There's no need for that. You have your sword. You can do the same. I guess you're right. Forget I said anything. Hmm, I see. Regardless, thank you for your timing me. It seems I'll have to train even harder from here on out. Best of luck. I know you can do it. Okay. Let's see here. Excuse me. Um. Hmm. Oh. Actually, no, 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 no. What I want to do is the optional quest first. The old schoolhouse. Alright. Well darn. All of this sucks. There we go. Okay, well, I guess it's her then. Pardon me, you're Colette from Class 4, right? I believe you submitted a quest to the Student Council? Yeah, I did, but you're that guy from Class 7. Did you join the Student Council when I wasn't looking? Mm, nothing like that. I just decided to help them out with some of their work. The student council president told me to handle your request. Ah, oh, so that's how it is. Wow, we're both for, uh, first years. These seem so much more grown up than me. The people in class 7 must be, ma must be amazing. Eh, it's no big deal. So you wrote that uh, you need help looking for your student notebook? Yeah, I've been looking everywhere. I can think of since this morning, but there's no sign of it. So does that mean you're going to start looking right away? They said if one person wasn't able to help me, they'd send someone else to do it. I see, so that's how Trista has done... has this all arranged. Well... Sure, you can count on me. Really? Thank you so much. Before we get too excited, I think I'll need a bit more information to have any hope of finding it. 
Can you tell me when you first noticed you dropped your notebook? It was right after school yesterday when I went to borrow a book from the library. You can't borrow books without your notebook. So I went to take it out and I couldn't find it because it wasn't there. Yesterday after school. Got it. So when was the last time you remember having it? Probably right when uh, classes had finished for the day yesterday. Uh, when I was still in the classroom. I remember using it to take notes while I was uh, walking, talking with my friends. So I definitely had it then. I guess I uh, must have dropped it somewhere between my classroom and the library. I see. That narrows it down quite a bit. Did you stop anywhere on your way to the library, though? Well, after I left the main building, I came here to the student union. Uh, pretty sure I went down to the library after that. That well, should have been everywhere I went. Right, so you really can't have that many places where you could have dropped it. The best way to go about this seems to be uh, to split up and search uh, the main building and the area surrounding it, I think. Yeah, that's just uh, what I was about to say. That's just what I was uh, going to ask you to do, actually. I'm hoping it's there, because I searched the library from top to bottom this morning. And the rooftop's out, because the janitor said he didn't notice it when he was doing his clean uh, morning cleaning rounds. Main building it is, then. So, do you think I should start with the classrooms? No, I don't think you need to check them at all. I searched my classroom yesterday and didn't go in into any other, uh, any of the others. It's probably a good idea to focus on the halls and the rest areas in there. I have a feeling that if it's in the main building, it's going to be on the uh, second floor somewhere. Thanks for the info. I'll head over. And I'll head over there right now. And stay right here at the student union. Keep up your search. Okay, thanks. Oh, uh, let's just get in the building. What? Okay, never mind. Oh, okay. I, it's probably to activate you have to go talk to the principal or something. Oh. Are you serious? I was actually about to check my map to see if it said something. But I guess not. This should be it. But I should check inside just to be sure. Unless there's another uh, identical Coletta run, uh, running around. This is the one. She'll be happy to see this. I should get it back to her as soon as I can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, do... Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm not, I'm not lost. There we go. Okay. And where is she? There she is. Boom. Done. Yes, I found it. Oh, you're right. It really is mine. Oh, thank goodness. This is the only form of ID we students have. So it would have been, lo uh, it would have been awful if we lost it. Especially since our instructor would have chewed my head off if I needed to get another one instead. Thank you so much for your help, Rain. Also, I'm sorry. I'm just so relieved. I didn't know it was so important to you. Still, I'm glad I was able to help you out. By the way, where did you end up finding it? Oh, you mean... Oh, excuse me. It was on the sofas on the second floor of the main building that uh, people use as a rest area. The sofas on the second floor? Oh, yeah. I, I guess I did relax uh, there for a bit. Come to think of it, I think I've dropped it uh, while I'm sitting once down before. I heard it falling out of my pocket at the time, though. So I didn't end up... Yes. What pocket do you normally put your notebook in? Is she dumb? Oh, well, 
I guess some skirts have pockets? I don't know, but yeah, do what Reen said. Use your jacket pocket. Are you kidding me right now? Look at your outfit. It's right there. Well, whatever. Oh my goodness, this girl is so clumsy. How do you buy two of the same thing by accident? Whatever, you're welcome. Um, alright, so there's that. Um, actually, I want to go talk to the fishing man again. Or the pond, I guess. Where is it? Uh, the world may never know. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Garden area. Okay, here we go. Makes sense. Oh, come on. Come on. Alright, well, at least this one's a lot easier to get than uh, the other one. That first one was sun, sun out. What even is this? Oh, shit. No, not you. Should be another one in here. What even is this? Please give me the one I need. There it is. What even is this? Okay. So that's the floor for now, right? Also, CP is at 200. Something's going to die. So, at this point, I can either do the orbital one or the something the principal wanted me to do. Well, you know what? The orbital one is like right here, I think, right? No, no, no. The orbital one is uh, down here. Hey, is this what's going on? Hmm, that might prove interesting. The horses? What are you staring at? Oh, sorry. Oh. This is not the Orbal Room. The Orbal whatever. Factory? Oh. Oops. I kept running right by it. Oh, okay, here it is. The small looking garish look little thing. In comparison to literally everything else here. Oh, you're the person who was with President Toll when I first arrived at the Academy. You've got a good memory.
The name's George, second year class three. I'm also head of the engineering club. You're Reen Schwarzer from class seven, right? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Toa told me that you're helping out the student council. You've probably got a lot to learn about the academy since you're just since you've just enrolled, but good luck with everything. Thank you. But I am curious. This is the engineering building, isn't it? With all the machines and equipment around here, it certainly fits the bill. Yep, you can basically think of this as the Academy's very own ornament factory. The engineering club's been in charge of the maintaining ornaments uh, here for a long time now. Wow, oh, that's pretty impressive. I assume you repaired all of the stuff you wanted me to uh, deliver for this request, no? That's right. I can handle this stuff here at the engineer club, too. I usually deliver them myself, but I'm a little busy this month. Can I ask you to do it for me? Of course. So, what do I need to know? Awesome, here's the rundown. As you know, I need to deliver uh, three Orbital products for me. First up is the Orbital Scale, which I need to deliver to the cooking club. The second is the home economics room on the second floor of the main building. Uh, give it to Nicholas. Nicholas from the cooking club. Home, and, uh, home economics room. Got it. The other two are both in town. Oh, yeah. There was so much talk about the club that I started getting requests from people interested too. Uh, there's no need for me to refuse them, so I do as much as I can to help out. That certainly explains how you ended up, ended up so busy. Sure does. The second delivery I need is uh, to take this antique orbital lamp. This one's getting uh, to going to Mitch at the pawn shop. You'll find it at the southwest part of the central shopping district. It's kind of out of the way, so keep an eye out. An antique orbital lamp for the pawn shop. Understood. Last but not least, the final... The final uh, item I need you to deliver uh, this Orbital Witch Watch. This one's going to Michael over at uh, Radio Trista. Radio Trista is the southwest of the Central Shopping District. Just let the receptionist know uh, why you're there and she'll call out Michael for you. An Orbital uh, Witch Watch for Michael from uh, Radio Trista. Ask the receptionist. Roger, I can do that. And that's everything. Let me know uh, the items. Let me give you the items themselves. Now be sure to be careful. It's not going to be easy carrying all of those around, but I'm sure you'll manage. Just re uh, report back to me when you're done. Of course, I'll get started right away. Uh... So, it is, uh, in the main building, is it not? Second floor, Nicholas? Huh? Oh, okay, it's the loading room. Oh, okay. Hey there, you wouldn't be here to join the cooking club, would you? Not exactly. The engineering club asked me to deliver something for them. Is this what you've been waiting on? Yep, that's the orbital scale X. Uh, George the Fix, alright. I don't know how he works so fast. I'd really be lost without him. He's pretty talented. I didn't even know tools like this existed. Pretty impressive, isn't it? These can provide more accurate, uh, more accurate and minuscule measurements than any analog scale. If you put a container full of ingredients on there, it'll even uh, subtract the container's weight for you. It's pretty handy. I'd believe it. Hmm. You don't have any inter any interest in cooking by chance, do you? I haven't given it much thought, to be honest, but I am kind of curious. I'll be cooking for myself from now on, anyway, right? You'd be surprised at how many students here can't. Here's the thing, the cafeteria might be cheap, but it still costs more Mira than making it yourself would. 
Have you tried to cook anything yet? Uh, not yet. I don't even know where to start. Which means you're... Or, which means you're as virgin as my olive oil. I don't know what that means. I really don't know what that means. But okay. I believe you. Uh, the, if you want to start cooking, I'd recommend you start cooking. Your words have never been spoken. Uh, just make something. Just make something. Doesn't matter what. Tell you what. I'll even give you this. I'll even give this to you to get started. And to top it all off, this is a really easy, easy recipe to get started on. It's so easy. I've got all the ingredients you need right here. Help yourself. Thank you. This recipe book seems like it'll be a helpful companion, but are you sure I can have this? Of course, we've got tons of them. If it sparks a fire for cooking in your heart, it'll all be worth it. Got it. I'll be sure to to get some use out of it then. Wow, well, thanks again for bringing me my orbital scale. And pass my thanks on to George for fixing it too. Will do. Alright, so now I can cook. I just gotta eat the item to cook. Hmm. Huh. Some people are better uh, cooking than others. And that is a-okay. Do, 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 do. Um, so no, we're done here. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um. Oh no, that's too far out, right? Yeah. I'd love a meal. Old man Abbott. Pawn shop and, and the radio station. Uh, let's just go to the radio station since I'm right here. Oh, come on. Welcome to Radio Trista. How can I help you today? Is there something, uh, someone named Michael here? Got deliver uh, delivery from the engineering club, and ideally, I'd like to have a uh, uh, I'd like to take it to him directly. As a matter of fact, we do have a Michael here. I'm gonna call him for you. You can wait over the sofa over there if you'd like. Sorry to keep you waiting. You said you've got a delivery from the engineering club for me? I do, indeed. Here it is. Wow, you really did fix it up. This is some pro level work. We're starting up a new show tonight, so I was feeling a little all nervous without a quick way to check the time. Things would just be fine now. Be fine now, though. Wait, it d does does he not have a does he not have a clock in the radio room? I mean, it's not like it's on television. So, what's the deal? You can look up at anything, at any time, and no one would know, except for the people in this room. I can imagine that would be pretty intense. Well, you know, it starts at 9 tonight, and if things work out, Radio Trust is guaranteed to see a big uh, uh, increase in popularity. 
which means I'll be one step closer to cheering my achieving my dream of... Oops, sorry about that. I shouldn't be getting all excited like that and boring you with my life story. Oh, not at all. I'm of the opinion that being passionate about what you do is a good thing. This, uh, <laughs> uh, this job's pretty much my entire life at this point, really. But if you really want to make me feel more alive, tune into the, tune into the show tonight. You bet. Oh, I would if I had an uh, Orville radio. Well, I gotta uh, head back. Our uh, sound producers in there waiting for me. Normally, I treat you to some tea or something, but today's a really busy day. Tell George thanks for fixing my watch when you get back. Of course. Good luck with tonight's show. Oh, nope. Other way. Do, 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 do. And the other one is... Where? What do you have for sale? Let's see, you have some cookies. And... Yeah, a bunch of stuff I already have. Um, this is a clothing store, right? Yeah, I literally have no reason to ever come in here. Let's see, what else? What else do we have here? Ah! Look at how out of the way you are. Hmm? You got some business here, kid? Or are you just look or are you just window shopping? And um, I do actually. I'm here to give you something from the engineering club. Ah, George fixed that thing up already? Oh, hand it over already, will ya? Uh, uh, right. This guy doesn't seem too friendly. Hmm. The kid does nice work. I swear. What is being a uh, pawnbroker? I have to be such a pain in the ass sometimes. Who would have thought an item break right uh, after I paid for it? That's a pretty nasty surprise. Do you get a lot of students in here out of sheer curiosity? Fair few, sure. What, you looking for some money? I don't lend money to kids. You kids can think of this place as an exchange shop. So, like, items for items? Oh, yeah, I got something in a while back. That a kid like you'd like. Mm, excuse me. It's yours as a way of saying thanks for the delivery. Blade? Is this a card game or something? Seems that way. Some good for nothing second year brought it in. Can't say it ever had uh, bothered to play. You can give it a try. Or don't. Or burn it for all I care. I didn't pay for it. Uh, thanks. That's really nice of you. I have this strange feeling that he didn't just give me this to me uh, because he didn't have anywhere to put it, but oh well. Oh yeah, another thing. My shop's got the finest selection of curios in all of Trista. If you don't uh, see anything you like, come back later. I change up the goods sometimes. When? When I feel like it. Anyway, see ya. Thanks for the delivery, and enjoy the playing cards or whatever. Uh, Any time. Hey, you can exchange items for items. Nice. Uh. Our question is: Do I really need any of these? And the answer is no. Alright. I guess that's it then, right? Oh, I won't. Well, garden shop's not open. Uh oh. I 
I guess that's it for this place. Right? So yeah, back I go. Oh hey, seems like you're done with those deliveries. All three of them. Nice work. So now that you've finished delivering those, uh, what do you think of the places you deliver them to? Hmm. Well, they're certainly all unique. None of them are places I'd normally go either. I might have uh, wandered into the home economics room eventually, but not the pawn shop or the radio station. Yeah, I don't think most students would. The pawn shop in particular is kind of hard to find too. That's true. But now I feel as though I have a general idea of uh, the main places in Trista are thanks to this. It's almost, excuse me, it almost feels like this uh, request benefited me more than it did you. <laughs> oh, that's nice to hear. You spoke to Michael while uh, while you at Radio Trista, didn't you? He did tell you anything about the new show they're starting up. He did. It starts at 9 p.m., doesn't it? I figured he'd mention that. He's thrilled about the show, and that enthusiasm is infectious. How about you? Are you planning on tuning in? I'd love to, but... Oh, you don't have an uh, orbital radio? In that case, here. This is all yours. Wait, really? It's the latest model, too. Same one I've got. You helped me out big time today. It's only, it's only uh, seems right that I pay you back. You sure? Of course. I bought it for the uh, for research purposes, but I never really found the chance to make any use of it. It'd be a waste to just leave it here collecting dust. So I'd be thrilled if you'd actually uh, got some use out of it. Well, if that's the case, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh yeah, there's something I'd like you to tell the rest of class seven for me. Oh. Instructor Sarah came to me with a request the other day. Long story short, she left me in charge of doing maintenance on all of your Arcus units. No kidding. Like I said, the engineering club's basically Thor's orbital factory, so yeah. And of course, I'm pretty interested in your Arcus units myself. So if you ever need anything with Arcus related, so if you need help with anything Arcus related, just come visit me here and I'll sort it out. Good to know. Part of me feels bad adding to your workload, but it's a relief to hear that you'll be the one in charge of this stuff. Huh, that's quite the uh, compliment. Alright, I also meant to ask. You know about Sephith masses, right? Uh, you mean the stuff that monsters sometimes uh, drop her with regular Sephith? Exactly. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how uh, handy regular Sephith can be. But some of the masses have tons of impurities, so they've never reached much attention. Recently, someone discovered a way to efficiently extract Sephith from them. Is that so? Uh, ah, so it is. Uh, thanks to that, most shops are willing to uh, take them off your hands at a decent price nowadays. There's no point in handing over to them, so go ahead and sell them if you uh, find any. A little extra money never hurt anyone. Sounds like a good deal to me. It will do. I think I'm uh, just about talked out for the day. Thanks again for all your help. Just hoping we can exchange favors. Uh, keep exchanging favors. Ditto. We'll keep counting on you. Man. Speaking of uh, getting talked out for the day. Um, I don't... Can these be customized any further? That's the real question here. Oh, okay, so... Oh, no. Okay, so it's all their starter weapons. Which means that it's, uh, no good. 
All right, so with that, let's just, uh, let's just, uh, get all this stuff out the way. Uh, 140, oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, my bad, guys, but, uh, kind of had to be done. Uh, 20,000? You're out of your damn mind. Oh, that's it? Oh, uh, yeah, we're good. Wait, why did my EP just drop? Oof, that was a lot of work. I'm exhausted. Feels good, though. Kind of fulfilling. But now that I think about it, George might have uh, made that uh, request specifically for my sake. I feel like I know a lot more about Trista and the Academy now that I'm done. Who's that? If she's hanging around here, she must be a member of the engineering club, right? That thing uh, next to her wasn't here before, either. What could it be? Well, it doesn't matter now. I got another request to finish. Might as well just talk to her anyway, right? That, that about does it. Now I've got to do is report back to George. So she does know George after all. Okay, so now I just have to talk to the principal, I believe. Oh, right. Okay, so when I opened up the, uh... I was going to say the quartz. That's that's wrong. Uh, when I opened up the ornament a bit more and... Okay, yeah. That all makes sense. Can I auto-equip now? There we go. Oh, I did something I shouldn't have. Hold up. Yikes. Uh, the principal's office should be on the first floor. Uh, which is... Faculty Lounge. Alright, so we're getting close. Oh, here it is. Yo, my man is huge. Hold up. And he's jacked. Good lord. Well, you know what, though? This is a military school, so I, I technically shouldn't be surprised. Excuse me, principal? It's... Uh, I'm Reen of Class 7. Ah, good, good. I've been waiting for you. He looks even bigger up close than he did at the entrance ceremony. He must be, what, two arch fall? Eesh. Two meters, I guess? You know what, we'll call it two meters. Which is about six feet, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Toa tells me you've accepted my request. I truly accept you uh, taking the time out of your free day to assist me in this. It's no problem at all, sir. So you're looking for, uh, for someone to further investigate the underground area at, of the old schoolhouse? Precisely. I can have uh, found a better man for the job considering your class was down there so recently. Incidentally, it was Sarah who insisted on making use of that trap door, not me. I probably should have tried to stop her, Robber. Please do accept my apologies. Oh, not at all, sir. You have no reason to apologize. I kind of already figured she was behind it anyway. I mean, it stands to reason. Getting back to the matter at hand, there are a number of interesting stories regarding that old schoolhouse. That gargoyle you fought is just a drop in the bucket, all told. Ah, oh, you mention it. I did get the, the distinct impression while fighting it that it was no ordinary monster. It was almost as if... Indeed, it was almost as if it wasn't a monster at all, but a demon? Perhaps the word fiend might fit. In our experience, if left alone, it will always regenerate to its original state. A statue form, eventually. 
Wait, really? Yes, and as a result, the area has long been used by students in tests of strength. But in the past year, many strange alterations have begun occurring there. I received many re uh, reports ranging from doors appearing out of nowhere to strange and eerie voices from the darkness. I see. So you'd like to, for me to go and investigate uh, whether there's any truth to these reports then? If possible, yes. Specifically, I would like to uh, walk through the underground area and check for any significant changes since last month. A task for which you are uniquely qualified, given your prior experience down there. I suppose that is true. And I'd be happy to undertake this mission. Though, if that gargoyle had regenerated, things could get a little tricky. If it turns out that if that turns out to be the case, I would have no objections uh, to you at all turning back. I should also stress that I am making this request to Class 7 as a whole. By all means, do as your classmates for do ask you uh, for your classmates for assistance. I'm certainly not expecting you to do this all along. Oh, understood. I'll do this, just that. Splendid. I believe you'll be needing this then. It's the key to the front of the door of the old schoolhouse. Best of luck to you, and please be safe. Thank you, sir. So, let's see here. Where is it exactly? Well, before I do that, just... Okay, yeah, I don't have anything else to do. So, uh, nothing to it but to do it. So it should be this way, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if anything, there should be the uh, EP recharge thing down there anyway. So I should be okay. Emphasis on should. Hmm. Um. I should be okay. Let me let me check just in case. Cause I don't want to miss anything for the notebook. But again, I, I should be okay. Um, you know what? If I missed it, I missed it. It's whatever. Some characters won't be available to help you after the story has been guessed a bit further. Wow. Not even Machias? Bro, I thought we were buddies. I mean, okay, so let's actually look and see what's actually going on, right? So, uh, I saw her doing the, looks like lacrosse or whatever. This dude is, uh, busy getting his jam on. Laura is swimming. So, oh, okay, so you know what? These two, it makes sense that they're not available. They're both physically exhausted. Marcus, he's literally just drinking coffee. Why can't he help me? Emma? I actually didn't see Emma. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I didn't see Emma at all today, so I, I don't know what she's up to. Uh, Yusis? He was just standing at some stables. So I know he ain't doing nothing. Fine? She's also just standing. No, she's walking around. Let's be more realistic here. So she ain't doing nothing. He said he's in the art club, so I believe him. So these two are legitimately busy. Uh, These three, they ain't doing shit. Why can't they help me out? This is stupid. I 
I can't believe we're back in here again. I really don't think this is a good idea. Well, that's because it's... That's because it's probably not. And neither of us would blame you a bit if you turned back. It's not too late. Oh, no thanks. I'll come with you. We got that practical exam next week, after all. I need to familiar, uh, familiarize myself with this horrible staff as much as possible before then. Besides, if I turn back, I just wind up worrying myself uh, sick about the two of you. Well, that's very kind of you. Thank you. There are only three of us, though, so we'll need to watch each other's backs and proceed with caution. The underground area should be just through the main door, correct? Yeah, that should take us right to the room where we fought that uh, stone gargoyle. Best to go through that way, uh, rather than falling through the trap door again. No arguments here. I really hope that thing hasn't regenerated yet. Uh, is there anything here? I don't think so. Yeah, that's it. Whoa. Well, at least the monster isn't here anymore from the looks of it. It doesn't look like we've got any more creepy statues ready to come to life either. Wait. Did it always look like this in here? No. This room's definitely smaller than it was in the last time we were here. Uh, how? I'd say it's about half the size. Half the size. Maybe even less. There are things present that weren't there previously. Like, that door? I don't remember being a door there last time. I don't remember there being one either. But at this point, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. Strange. Those may be. We should get a closer look at it. This is essentially why we uh, came after all. Uh, so you know what, let me just, uh, crap, that's right, <laughs> he ain't shit. Um, nah, it really doesn't matter. Ooh. Let's see here. No treasure chests abound. So let's get right to it. Unbelievable. This isn't even the same place. I don't remember passing through an area like this at all. I don't either. Because we didn't. The entire layout down here has been changed completely. Uh, how can this be? I sense new types of monsters here, too. What do you think we should do, Rain? The principal sent us down here to investigate these mis these mysterious changes. That's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we've seen just how major these changes are, there's no way we can go back empty-handed. We should go as far in as we're able to. Here we go, then. May the goddesses be with us. Alright, let's do this. What on earth could this be? It doesn't look like an arm in a charging station. Yeah, it looks like some device for sure. But whatever it is, it doesn't seem to have any power right now. A slug-like monster? Huh, this could be a, prove a little awkward to fight. Not if we make good on our combat links. Yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble against a monster like this if we work together. Shall we, shall we put our link ability to the test then? Absolutely, let's show this thing what we're made of. Uh, da da. What? 
Oh, tactics, my bad. No. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, set link. God, I'm stupid. How many? Three. Alright, yeah, we're good. Oh, shoot. Yo, hold up. These, these boys got HP. What was there to heal? It did zero damage. Go. Okay. Save Dude's really out here wasting time. Crazy. Well, that sure seemed to do the trick. Yeah, we fought well. If we can master these combat links, I'm sure they'll prove a really useful in the battles ahead. We should probably try and practice as much as uh, possible while the stakes are low. And as we get used to them as we can. And get used to them as we can. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Hold on. Okay. So there should be a treasure chest then, right? We're in the money! Enemy sighted! My turn! Uh, shoot. All right, you know what? That's fine. Leave it to me. That's not piercing damage. Okay. Bro, he Stay even get hurt. How do you auto heal on someone that didn't even take damage? Looks like a nice spot. Huh? Yo, where? Hold up. Where? Wait. Reen. Reen, what say you? Hold up. You can't just say, hey, let's go fishing and then not show me where to fish. Bruh. This looks like a nice spot. Alright, so, I mean, I see the icon right there. Oh, okay. I don't know what the hell is down here for fishing, but okay. Easy. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention. I thought I pressed X. My bad. Is this awesome, man? Rank up. Huh. Oh, geez, how many different types of fish are down here? Oh, okay. Looks like I've hit my limit. Maybe. Caught one. Well, I'm really not gonna look. All that much longer. One, two. What's up? Insulating tape and a tear bomb. Whoa, 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 whoa! Winds, give us your blessing. Go. All right. Well, that's it, huh? Together. 
got that right. Enemy sighted. Take him out. My turn. Um. Yeah, might as well just do it again, right? Okay, here we go. Don't miss. I'm still confused as to how that's piercing damage. Because nothing's being pierced. Easy. Okay, so that's upstairs. What's this? This is downstairs. Ah, oh, shoot. I hit the wrong one. Oops. Let's keep moving. Let's try your chest. Nothing of value. My turn. It's my turn. What? Oh shit! Hold up. Um. Oops. Well, it's gonna do zero damage anyway. That's it? No switch? Didn't we see something like this near the entrance? It does appear to be the same kind of device. This one's inactive too, from the looks of it. Um... Oh, what's this stream's light? Hmm, I'm sensing considerable power from it. It has a very different feel compared from the uh, Ormnet charging stations we've seen up till now. I was just seeing some reports. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Um. Nah. You know what? Fine. We'll we'll do we'll do Elliot. Hold up. Actually. Seventy forty. Uh, we are now in the uh, cannot be opened range, which is completely fair. Uh, uh oh, there we go. First of all, all right, let's do this. Leave it to me. and then hold on, let me see. Powerful strike, counter attack. We'll go with powerful strike. He can't do anything anyway. Just for, uh, Bonzi's. Oh, okay. I was about to say, am I stuck at five? Well, there it is. 
he's dead. Easiest KO of my life. We're unbeatable. Great. <laughs> I did it. Just getting started. Phew, that was a tough battle. Still, we made it through. We sure did. I'm really starting to get the hang of these combat links now, too. It feels like the Arcus has practically synchronized my breathing with the two of you. That's a good way to put it. It's a strange feeling, but not a bad one. I think we've reached the end of the line, however. Sure looks that way. I didn't see any other routes we could take at, we could have taken. It really does seem like the entire structure of these uh, ruins has changed completely since we were last here. Yeah, that's a little hard to believe. I guess that means we're done here. Time to go back. Uh, okay. As long as the route we uh, took getting here hasn't uh, suddenly shifted upon, shifted on us. We should have no trouble finding our way back. Uh, no treasure chest, right? Alright, yeah, that's what I thought. Is it just me? Or was that thing definitely not glowing before? No, I'm quite certain it wasn't. Has something caused it to turn on then? We should go have a closer look. What just happened? We seem to have returned to the entrance. But we were just at the exit. This place really is nothing but mis uh, mysteries. Yeah, that's it. The sun's begun to set. Oof, we were in there for ages. We should probably go give a report to the principal. Would you mind coming with me? Not at all. Let's go. Now that cat is clearly purple. It's not black. Hmm, oh, well, this is certainly unexpected. So the layout has completely uh, changed since last month? I knew something was amiss there, but I had no idea it pro uh, progressed to such an extent. Um, do you know anything about the origins of these runes? They look uh, like they predate the school by, well, a lot. I'm afraid I can't be certain who constructed them, nor how long they've been around. But you are correct. They've existed for at least several hundred years before this academy was founded. All signs point to the construction occurring sometimes during the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages? You mean the chaotic period that began after the Great Collapse 1200 years ago? Most of the ruins archaeologists have uncovered that period full of strange things. Some of which uh, seem to have been made with technology we don't even fully understand. We're talking about magic, alchemy. But on the inside of the building, completely changing its layout, I have to say, that's definitely a new one. Definitely not normal. Indeed, no record of such a phenomenon exists in the Academy records. We now have a bona fide mystery on our hands, it would seem. Well, I'll have to try and take a look around the place myself when I get a chance. I've been curious about it ever since I started working here. 
I'd greatly appreciate that. Sorcher, Craig, Orzel, thank you so much for all your hard work today. It was no trouble at all. I'm happy to be, I'm happy to be of assistance. <laughs> it's always good to help. If you'll please excuse us then. Huh, the three of you did pretty well. And it seems you're getting the hang of using your Arcus too. Combat links definitely did make our battles uh, in the ruins a lot easier. They could have, uh, they could prove a powerful asset if we were able to master them. Hard to get the timing right though. Well, just keep at it. You'll need to be forming links with your other classmates eventually too, after all. And let me reiterate once again, you've all done very well today. Especially you, Reen. I'll be expecting great things from you next time too. I'll do my- Wait, what do you mean, next time? Well, the way I see it, you're a natural at this, so why stop now? Besides, with how busy our poor student council president is, don't you just want to do everything you can to help her out? Well, I guess I do kind of feel bad for her, but... Fine, I'm... I'm in. I'm in. That's our Reen. I'll, pa I'll pass the good word... Uh, I'll pass the good news on to Toa then. Oh, and the principal has given the okay for you to keep hold of that... Oh. Uh, old schoolhouse key. You're welcome to go uh, poke around inside again anytime you wish. Anyway, I'll be seeing you kids later. Toodles. Uh, are you sure you're all right with this, Ring? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. It's not like I'm signed up to do any clubs. As long as I don't uh, wind up with too many more... As l it's not like I'm signed up to do any clubs. As long as I don't uh, wind up with too many more than I already had today, I'll be alright. Well, okay then. But if you need any assistance, please, just let me know. It's really no trouble. Same goes for me. And I'll be happy to come with you next time you go into the school old schoolhouse too. Ugh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Uh, whoa. I'm hallucinating. For some reason, I thought that was, uh, not necessarily the exit, but, like, a way downstairs when I'm actually already on the first floor. Um, alright, so I can just be done for the day. But I do have two bonding points. One for, also the other one for Toa, looks like. Toa, yeah. Um, let me see here, but first, there's gotta be someone here. Oh man, this is bad. It'll take a while to get here even if I order it now. Um, is something the matter? Uh, yeah, based on the red duds, I'm guessing you're, yeah, red dud. I'm guessing you're, uh, from that new class at the academy? That's correct, but where'd you hear about the out- uh, yeah, the outfits. Huh. We get students in here from all the time- in here all the time, so I'm always up to date on the upcomings and goings at the academy. You here to order something, though? Not at all. I just wanted to, to make sure you were okay. You look kind of upset. Huh, that's awfully selfless of you. To be honest, I've got a little stock issue on my hands here. By which I mean, I'm all out of a certain seasoning. So now I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Makes sense. I'm assuming you can't just swap it out for something? Well, I could, but it would make things taste different. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging or anything, but our food's pretty popular. There'll be a lot of customers stopping by with that dish on their mind, so I'd feel bad if I use something else. Alright, so what's the secret ingredient you need? Uh, passion leaves. I work kind of spice from southern Azamoria. Brandon usually orders them for me. 
I probably wouldn't have run out either if I just kept my own in the stock. A oh, rare spice from Southern Samaria. Nicholas from the cooking club uh, might have some. Oh, that's a damn shame. I feel bad for the customers, but I'm sure they'll understand if I explain. Mind if I talk to a friend at the, acad uh, at the academy about this? He's pretty knowledgeable when it comes to food. He might let me borrow some passion leaves if he has any. For real? Oh man, I totally owe you for this. Don't get your hopes up just yet. He might not have any. Hey, a small chance is better than no chance. I'd really hate to ask you, but can you check uh, with him for me? Of course, let me go talk to him now. Um, so the real question is, is he still in the uh, school building? It was this way, right? No, 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 no. It was this way. Hey, Reen, what brings you here? Oh, hey, Nick. I just got a couple questions. A quick question, really. Passion leaves, huh? Sorry, I've cooked with them before, but I don't have any at the moment. Oh, okay. Thanks anyway. I wonder why am I supposed to get a uh, hold of these things? You might not want to give up just yet. Huh? Why is that? I don't have any money s myself, but the, ca the cafeteria just might. You think so? I believe I saw them using passion leaves on one of their recent uh, daily specials. It was uh, only one of the sides, so I'm not entirely sure, but the memory definitely sticks out of my mind. I'd say chances are good that Ramsey still has a few on hand, so you should uh, try asking him. Thanks. You either have a keen eye, uh, you either have keen eyes or a keen palate to have picked up on that, though. I've always had a knack for picking up on ingredients in a dish. Most of the time I can figure out an ingredient and the qu uh, quantity used in a single bite. That's unbelievable. No, not really. I just eat a lot. On that note, you'd probably get moving towards the cafeteria. It'll be closing soon. Good idea. Thanks again. Oh, nope, not her. What? But this is the cafeteria, isn't that? Am I getting played? Hold on. No, nope. I'm talking about close. Oh, okay. Oh, I can just go in. I knew that. Hey, yo, Gordon, I need your help, bruh. What is it that you need? You're not here to steal food, are you? No, of course not. I see, so Fred needs some passion leaves, does he? It just so happens that I have to have, I, it just so happens that I have some right here. Really? Yup, they're all yours. Thank you so much. By the way, how much do I? Ah, no payments necessary. That should be enough to last them for a couple of weeks. If he finds himself running short again, he can just ask. I have more. I'll be sure to pass it on to him. Thank you again. I didn't expect him to give uh, give this to me for free. He's not like the most talkative person, but he seems to be a nice guy. Oh, I'm stupid. No oh, way. You seriously found some passion leaves? I sure did. Here you go. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Really, thank you so much. I owe you. Don't worry about it. I'm just happy to help. You really got a ton too. How did you get all of these? Nothing actually. I ended up uh, getting them from the ac Academy's cafeteria. Ah. I would be sure to go thank Ramsey next time I get the chance. I think you'd like that. But I can't forget to thank you either. It's kind of flattering that you went to all this trouble just to get these leaves for a little old me. And now our customers have, uh, won't have to be uh, disappointed or hungry. So here, take this. Nothing special, but I'd like you to have it. 
I can have all of these? Of course. Any less will be criminal. Oh, yeah. I meant to ask you. You're not part of the student council, are you? I'm not exactly, but I do help with... Help out with their work from time to time. Why do you ask? Oh, it's just that they've helped me, uh... Here and just a... Out... A bit over the years. Us included. Oh, everyone here in Trista. Okay, yeah. Seeing you tried so hard just kind of reminded me of their style. That's all. Huh. So that's why they get requests from everyone in town, too. Yep, they're like our personal problem solvers. It's probably a ton of work for them, but I think they're all right. I, but I think they feel like it's work worth the doing. I can vouch for both of the uh, those things after today. <laughs> Sorry about the first. Happy about the second. Well, it's about time for me to get going. Good luck with the rest of the day's work. You too. You really pulled me out of the fire today. Alright, so back to here to talk to Toa. Good work today, Reen. Turns out your assistance was just what we needed. I'm glad I could uh, take a bit of weight off of your shoulders. <laughs> you really did. George really appreciated your help, too. I'm mean, amazed you take care of all of all of that and investigate the old schoolhouse. If you need a hand, just let me know. My schedule is pretty flexible. I mean, I'll be at Thor's all year. <laughs> of course, thank you. You should head back to the dorms and get some well-deserved rest. She still seems pretty busy. Um, hey, you still busy? I'd be happy to help if you need a hand. I already spent the day working, so a little, bo a little more won't kill me. Are you sure? You must be really tired. Eh, don't worry about it. I can do a little more if it if it will help you out. Aw, thanks, Reen. That's really kind of you. Well, if you insist. Reen helped Toa take care of the day's paperwork. Once they were done, she cheated him to some tea. Phew, finally done. Huh, <laughs> you shot a lot on your plate. Now I can see just how busy the student council can be. There's so much to get done that I almost always have time. Uh, I always have to work home, take home work with me to finish everything in time. Um, are you sure you're okay with this though? What do you mean? Well, you said you'd help us out next month too, right? Trust me, you shouldn't feel obligated to help out just because your instructor told you to. It's fine. I mean it. Besides, it's not like I'm getting anything out of it. Yeah, I can't let the chance... Yeah, I can't let the chance uh, the instructor has given me go to waste. I need to branch out. Try new things. That's the only way I'll figure out what I want to do with my life. I put a lot of effort into getting into this academy. I'm going to make my time here count. I'm going to be blunt here, Reen. Do you really need to push yourself like this? What? Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing your best and helping other people out. I'm a big fan of both. But at the same time, it's important to take the, the time to just sit back and rest, too. You need to have a balance. Because if you don't, there may be a time when you want to work towards something you, important to you. But you can't. Uh, oh, sorry. Things got really heavy there. I probably shouldn't be saying all this when I, when I hardly even know you. But uh, I just don't want you to hurt yourself doing uh, by going overboard or anything. Because you're just as important as everyone else in this academy, even if you don't realize it yourself. Thank you, Toa. I was pr I was kind of worried about being able to do this while I was here, but that uh, but this is kind of like a weight off my shoulders. That's good then. And if you ever feel tired, feel free to come visit me. 
At the very least, I'll make you some nice hot tea and we can talk things over. <laughs> Roger. I think I've... I don't think I've ever met anyone with such a soothing personality. She's right, though. Pushing myself too hard could burn me out. Where is she? The Academy Field. She'd be here, right? Yeah. What do you want? I'm in the middle of something, if you didn't notice. What are you on cleanup duty all on your own? That's part of our that's part of our job as new recruits. There was a noble girl here too, but she went home. Why am I even needing to tell you all this? I don't need to explain myself to you. She doesn't seem like she'll be giving me uh, she'll be forgiving me anytime soon. I need to find a chance to to apologize to her properly. You mind if I helped you out? This seems like a lot of work for any one person to be doing on their own. I, I'm not gonna stop you. You better not try anything funny though. I won't, I won't. Sports clubs almost seem like they're more trouble than they're worth. First they set everything up, then they go through a grueling practice, and finally, everything needs to be taken down again. Hey. Oh, sorry. I was spacing out, wasn't I? Huh? Hm, that's right. Don't let it happen again. Yeah, at this rate, I'm practically dead weight. I'm gonna make up for lost time. There we go. That should take care of most of it. But she was seriously trying to do that all by herself? She must really be devoted to this club. Um... Uh, sorry, I was in your way, wasn't I? I'll start cleaning up that other stuff, too. No, that's that's not what I meant. Why am I so stubborn? This was my chance, too. Having cleaned up everything... Reen waited for Alyssa to, uh, by the gymnasium while she changed back to her school uniform. Looks like we're done for the time being. Were you, a uh, were you really able to clean up the whole club room uh, on your own? It's not like I would have let you in there anyway. This is a girls club, remember? Right. Good point. But you did help me out. Thanks. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. We're done here. Go away. Uh, uh, Alright, see ya. Phew, that went about as well as a train crash. I guess I'll have to kill, uh, kill her with kindness to get back on speaking terms. A way to let her perfect opportunity to slip through your fingers, Alyssa. We can't keep doing this all year. That's it, right? Oh, no, nope, not yet. Whoa! Uh oh. Did I forget? There we go. That's it. Um. Was it you? Yes, it was. Oh, is that a recipe book you have there? You must be one dedicated chef to walk around with something like that. I wish I had that kind of focus. I don't know if I'm that dedicated. 
But it seems like you're a little down about cooking in general. What's wrong? Well, the students have, uh, at this dorm have rather extravagant palates. Meanwhile, I'm only capable of making what they deem commoner food, which they quickly tired of. I fear for my continued employment if I'm unable to, to improve my cooking skills and make food that fits their tastes. Hmm, being a maid sounds like hard work. Is there any way I can help? Hmm, well, how about this? Could you bring me along some unique dishes? Unique? What, now? A dish made by someone so skilled that it uh, becomes a true standout. Truly unique. A shining testament to cooking as an artist. Bearing witness to such incredible dishes may be an uh, effective way to learn more about cooking as a whole. I'm well aware of how shameless and massive this request is, so if you wish to decline, that's fine too. But don't worry about it. I'd love to help you out. I'll be sure to bring you, uh, you any unique dishes I come across. Uh, do I have any? I have a couple. Hey, fish nuggies. That's it? No prize? Alright, yeah, no, nah, you ain't getting shit. Uh. That's it then. Oh, word, hold up. Alright, I thought I had to go back to my room and call it a day, but, uh. It's entering the, the uh, dormitory that ends it now. So, with that being the case, that is it for the day. So that's also it for the episode. So I'll certainly see you on the next one. Peace out.